Hello, everybody. It's Wednesday, the 15th of April. I'm sorry, the 17th of April, 2024. Uh, it's 11.43 a.m. And the temperature is in the upper 50s. Mid to upper 50s. It's nice. So we're walking down Commonwealth Avenue. I'm making a trip to the... Uh, to my dispensary to pick up some edibles. You can't go in there because HIPAA. But you can uh, go till we get there. And then I'll probably go eat some lunch and pick up with you after that. In the next video. This is my favorite intersection and you can see why. corner pizza place that has burgers and all kinds of stuff like that. Pub across the street, Harry's Bar and Grill. So this is my home neighborhood. My friend lives right across the street from me, so that's kind of cool. I actually watched the building I live in being built from his living room. And it worked out. I got there. Harry's is really good. The first time I went there to brunch, I had mint chocolate chip ice cream on a donut. So, good brunch. <laughs> Not healthy for a diabetic person, but, you know. I did not plan on going this way. Because all the flowers I want to see are on that side, but they don't look like they're really out yet. So, I love these things. Painted utility boxes. It, I love seeing people's creativity. That's the Warren Street stop. You've got a Type 8 car in the front, Type 7 in the back. The Type 8s always have to be with the Type 7 if the Type 7s are out because it's the only one that has accessible. Uh, I don't know why my hand's out here. I'm going to do like Trump. Um, it's the only one that has accessible entrances. So you'll see 8s and 9s run by themselves. If the 9 comes by, I'll tell you. But the sevens can't go by themselves because they're the oldest and don't you have to go up steps at every entrance. The more you know. This is a Korean place that used to be a Japanese place. There's a line to get in on the weekends. It's a big kind of like a little Korea is in this neighborhood. Down uh, in the area where we're going to finish this walk up. Um, there's a lot of restaurants, but there's quite a few that are Korean. Barbecue and things like that. <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's kind of cool that that tree is growing like, right in that space, almost between the two buildings. <laughs> So you can see a lot of these, I guess you would, row houses or brownstones, I don't know what you call them. Let me know in the comments. And while you're at it, like and subscribe. <laughs> I'm working on getting out videos of uh, the day of the eclipse. I kind of watched the people watching the eclipse while I watched it. Off in the distance, you can see the um, the uh, Prudential Tower, which we'll go up there and look from the observatory sometime soon. 
I wanted the city to get a little greener before I did that. It looks nicer from up there. Oh, they moved, they moved out. Hi. <coughs> Here's the next tea stop, Boston Street, and there's Leeds 2 Market. Here you can see some flowers are coming up. Who can tell me what kind of flowers those are? Put it in the comments. Well, any of these that we pass by. <laughs> Just put the timestamp and what it is. <laughs> See these yellow and kind of purple things? I don't know what they are, but they're pretty in that tree. I don't know. This is stuff I look at when I walk by myself. <laughs> or with you. I like their window decorations too. Hmm. And the murals. They're all over the place. When I lived in Lynn, which is like 10 miles, 13 miles away from here, they have like 11 gigantic murals that the city's kind of famous for. We got some daffodils on the right, but you probably can't see them because you're too low. <laughs> now maybe. So this U-Haul, I'm sure, gets in storage, gets busy with all the college students that we have around. There's a laundromat, more housing up this street, and it's a storage place across the street. There's a uh, like a local privately owned pharmacy. I've only ever seen like one person go in there though. I don't know how they stay open. I took my more or lunchtime insulin before I left and <laughs> it was already not very high, so I gotta get my butt down here and get my edibles and popcorn and then go to either Taco Bell or McDonald's. <laughs> I know you saw me in the reflection, I don't need either one of them, but hey, sometimes you need a treat. I always hope that dogs off the leash are friendly. I sometimes watch my friend's dog, but I don't want one of my own is too much responsibility. <laughs> sometimes I like to, you know, uh, spontaneously go do something that might be like a day or two away and I don't have anybody to watch them and can't afford to pay for it. Those are pretty. I chose for silver wings no suffering. Uh, that building's kind of new. The one on the left. Gray one. Sorry, I sing along sometimes. It's just like you were here. <laughs> I hope it's your house. 
So there's Greg Street stop. People are waiting for that. This time of year, it's busy with students until school gets out in about a month. And then they all disappear and are replaced by tourists. That's pretty. I'm sure people look at me and think, what the heck is he doing? I don't care. It's my hobby. And hopefully your hobby. That's why you subscribe. Tidal City Barbers. Woo! They're out of my price range. The shawarma place on the right we just passed. And of course the Starbucks. I'm gonna do a quick sweep around. Don't get dizzy. Cause there's another utility box, see? I'll show you all of them, cause I look at them, you might as well too. Oh, and down here, I'll show you the art. Why it's here, I don't know. If you play Pokemon Go, it's a gym. No, it's Pokestop. So these, Statues. There's that one. And there's this one. <laughs> Why they're there, I don't know. I guess just the architect, like, stuff like that. But it's kind of cool. And then the <laughs> Matrix building has, like, their sign is kind of cool. Anyway. A lot of uh, kind of new stuff on this side. Because these bricks are all... Um, brick masonry type stuff they're always always somewhere where the scaffolding's up and they're doing masonry work yeah so these are one count in the basement one two three four six stories which is the same size of mine those are pretty These fire escapes, six stories, I couldn't do it unless my butt was on fire. There's tulip bulbs. Or tulip, not bulbs, but flowers, not quite ready. This weather we're having now, though, is going to help them. We're upper 50s to right around 70 for the next week. We'll take a look across the street. There's a laundry place, obviously more apartments. The Hopewell Barn Kitchen. Back that way, we passed the apartment where Aerosmith lived when they were just getting their band together. We can't see the thing from this side though. <laughs> My eyes aren't that good, neither are yours. So I always wonder with these fire alarm things if sometimes they're just cables like this one but a lot of them have an actual lever you can pull. I always wonder why nobody gets drunk on a weekend and pulls one especially with all the college students around that do stupid things like throw <laughs> uh, traffic cones off of the Boston University Bridge that goes between Boston University and Cambridge, which is where Harvard and MIT are. We'll get over there soon. The weather's getting nice and <laughs> my feet are improving, so I'm just babying them and doing what I gotta do. If you watch my videos, you hear me talk about them all the time. So. <laughs> hey, we're friends, that's what we do.
<laughs> see another uh, sorry another residential area so again we're walking down Commonwealth Avenue and this next traffic light is Harvard one way it's Harvard Avenue one way it's Harvard Street because on one side it's Alston the other side it's uh, Brooklyn Brooklyn's kind of a hotty toddy area where JFK was born and grew up John F. Kennedy former president for those of you not from here <laughs> go puff alcohol delivered in as fast as 15 minutes well next time I want to tie one on Although I haven't done that in a long time. Uh, kind of spinning around. There's the Harvard Avenue stop. It goes all along there. And then uh, the Avenue Bar. A hair salon, real estate. A Korean restaurant, a coffee house, a bank. You get the idea. All kinds of stuff. Uh, here's McDonald's, 7-Eleven. There's a uh, Five Guys down there. Barbecue, uh, cream barbecue, uh, tasty pot Chinese, just all kinds of stuff. So you, I don't have to go far for <laughs> pretty much everything I need. Right across the street, there's the new Taco Bell. Got a Dunkin' and a CBS. Oh, I should be. Oh, I'm going down here. <laughs> I found this uh, song that's a David Guetta mix of this song called <laughs> Big F U. It's um, the key line is. A big F you to my replacement. <laughs> it's cool. I like it. I like the base. So some people live in the basement. They have parking behind, which is good because a lot of places don't. And you have to have a sticker to park everywhere. That's not meters. Meters are off at night and on the weekends and holidays. Oh, there's another cool mural. We'll stop and look at that. Because you won't be coming back the other way with me. <laughs> so here it's businesses on the right um, with three stories of apartment above that. So we've got the blue purple building is Mayflower. It's a dispensary and then liquor store and a TJ Maxx. And I always pretend I'm going down here so people can go because otherwise they'll stay and be polite and see here's one of the alarms you can pull. <laughs> we have in my building the building apart uh, fire alarm goes off about every three months. And our fire escape is inside. There's stairwells. And there's two elevators, but you're not supposed to use those during a fire. Sometimes I still do with bad feet. I'm not going to have a fireman come and carry me down. <laughs> but it's kind of funny. They have to come in and reset the alarm. Find out what's going on. It's usually people burning hamburgers. <laughs> 
because you can smell it. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to cross here and go back up to the dispensary and put you away for a little while and then after lunch I'll get you back out and we can go on to the next floor. First day is April 22nd next week. So Saturday is 420 so I'm going to go down to Boston Common and at 420 we'll video all the puffs that happen there even though that it's not legal but people just don't worry about it but i went down there once they have like booths and a little festival set up kind of thing but uh i wasn't there at 420 and i thought oh i missed out <laughs> so we'll go down there like i don't know 3 30. We'll walk around the festival. See what we see. Here, tobacco is even if you're 24, you can't buy it. If you're born after 2000, you cannot buy it. They're trying to basically, you know, force people to stop smoking. Obviously, they get it in places, but that's what the law is. 2000 and that means people are 24 all right so i'm gonna end you for now and until the next video love y'all